What's going on everyone, welcome to my review of Sadio Mane, the 86 rated Liverpool winger who received a big upgrade from his FIFA 18 card. He went from 84 to 86. His strengths are his pace, his acceleration, his finishing and his dribbling. Um, he's also really good at positioning himself at the right place at the right time. And if you compare him to Leroy Sané and Alexis Sanchez, he, he's actually got better positioning than both of them. Uh, he's also got better stamina and finishing. But um, on the grand scheme of things, most of the stats are very similar. I mean, feel free to pause on any of these stats that are flying by and have a closer look. What I look for in a winger is good dribbling, good finishing, passing and positioning. I used to look for pace as well, but it seems to not be that important anymore. Especially with this installment of FIFA, most defenders are able to catch up with attackers in most positions and regardless of their pace, um, I'm finding that they're able to catch up with the attackers in most situations. So I put Mane into a 4-3-3 formation with him on the left wing, Yarmolenko on the right wing, uh, Arnautovic at the striker position, Mickey in the midfield with Oxley chamberlain And it worked out pretty well. I wasn't amazed by him, but he was very good at always being open for a pass and getting past players. I found it very easy to just do a step over and accelerate away from players and then pass it on. He's also pretty strong guys, he won't be pushed off the ball easily and if you don't time your skill perfectly, um, he'll still be able to pull it off and continue. His finishing was decent, he was able to score a few goals from inside the box, uh, but I was expecting more. But I mean that could also be up to my poor finishing. Let me know what you think after watching the highlights. But I found his main positive was his work rate and his positioning. He would always make positive runs and this was really good because if I didn't play the ball to him there would be space for my other player to run into because he was constantly making those runs. Overall I thought he was impressive but there's just so many other options on the left wing and for the price that you're paying you can go with someone else and get quite a similar impact on the pitch. Anyway I'm gonna step away from the mic now, enjoy the rest of the highlights, let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing if you want to. I don't know, it would be nice. See you later.